He wasn't even married to her. How do you know? Because he couldn't... Be, well, the one he said he married... After your quickie divorce, how... Was it weeks or months before you got remarried? It was months. It wasn't right. weeks. Yeah, that was the marriage. And then he said he's dumped this toy bride and married another woman. But you've got to be married at least a year before you can put in for a divorce. Depends but where you're married, though, Lorraine. Oh, Depends which country you're married well, in. I am right on that one, Henry. Right, well, L Lorraine, um, tell Lorraine, I think Lorraine's going to be f um, flummoxed when you say where you're considering standing. Right, you ready you for this, Lorraine? Yeah. I'm going to stand with counsel, because I think, I look at myself and think, let's put it where it's going to be needed for the Pan Estate. <laughs> well, with all the houses that smell of chip that. And that's where I intend you to clean the whole thing up. So now, you've you've you? now admitted that the houses smell no, of chip fat. Your words, Henry. No, no your that's words. Just mine. now, I I said a while ago. I said that the houses on the on uh, the council estates, the pan estate, a lot of them smell of chip fat, yeah. um, cheap aftershave, and cigarettes. That's okay. Good. And then I have had a bit of stick about that one. A few people phoned up, and just now you've said what? Where all the houses smell of chip fat? No, what so you you, you've just said that the houses on the pan estates. Smell Smell of chip fat. You I said that, not me. You, Henry. Maybe the words never came out right. But Are I'm you worried of whether it's pan north or pan south, or you just want to get yourself on pan? I, I want to get myself what, in there. This is now. I know this is the biggest one of the biggest wind-ups you've set up, Alex. And good luck to you. Biggest wind-ups, Lorraine, because for if two reasons. See him on Silent up. TV. If you don't believe it, Lorraine, see him on Silent TV. Yeah, I can hear his words. More I mean, look what else he gets on there and says. More like All right, we've got to move on. Uh, lots of calls coming in. If you get in the ringing tone, hang on. Right, let's get back to the calls. If you get the ringing tone, hang on. Henry will get to you. Right, Nigel. Hi, Nigel. Nigel? Hello? Hi, you're through to Henry. Hello, Henry. Good uh, afternoon to you. Hello, Nigel. Is that Nigel Smith? It is, yeah. Very busy today, serving the best coffee and ride. But I felt I had to break away from that to um, add my support. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's just stop there. D you was d d just say what you said again. You were doing what? Sorry. Just very busy today, but I thought I'd break away. No, no, no. You said you were serving. You were serving. Serving, yeah. Well, you're the boss. Busy man. Well, you're the boss. The boss uh, doesn't serve. The thing is, the thing is, Henry. Everyone would like to, like to see a dealer principal and talk to them. You see, if you go and buy a car, you don't want to buy it from the month from underling. How did you, you sell your bikes then, Henry? <laughs> I didn't. I didn't uh, get involved with that at all. I had people working for me. What sort of a boss are you? I'm so glad that that's the way you do it, Henry, because that's obviously good, you stand you in good stead. Well, this is this is the kind of thing that I want to try and stump out to to push the island forward. This is just. This is just one of the things, not not necessarily the way you're running your business, but again, at the end, it's that small mentality, small island mentality. That's we need to get out of it. Fantastic of you to say to it. Did, sorry, did you say the name was Spurgeon or Spurgeon? Because I do think it's going to be a bit of a wet fish, this whole campaign of yours. Why is that? Because I do feel that um, you may have some great ideas, mm -hmm. some rib, but you will not be able to get in the through as an independent, Henry. And why is that? Yeah, yeah because you won't have any oomph. You'll have no backing, you know, you'll have all the people... Coming there. from a man who's running a bagel shop, and, and, and what he's doing is he's serving the coffees himself. I think that's quite rich. That's very kind of... If he, listen, that. listen, would you, would you see Richard Branson, for argument's sake, serving the coffees? No. Well, you know, having, having met Richard Branson... Um, yeah, you've met I him, but you're not him. <laughs> you're trying to big yourself up in a big way. All listen... Right, let's move on. Hi, who's that? What a burk. Hi. Duncan. Hello. Yeah, hi, Duncan. Hello, Alex. All right. Hello, yeah. Henry. Hello there. Oh, I mean, this phoning is brilliant. I mean, you've, it's like a chimp's tea party. You've had English tea, Pat the Field on a rain. It's fantastic. Chimp's tea party. I want to say to you, Emery, I mean, I admire you for doing this. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, it's great. You are, know, you, are you an island resident? Head. Oh, yes, yeah, I am. Will I be uh, getting your vote? Oh, yeah, you probably will, just purely, uh, just for a laugh, actually, because... Uh, I don't really want to come from that angle. I'd rather not have your vote. Well, I mean, some of your policies are a bit... Uh, I mean... Like which one? Yeah. Trying to get the ferry fares down there, that's, 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 that's no hope, you've got no hope there. Yeah, but it doesn't mean to say you shouldn't stop trying or shouldn't do something about it. No, I, I'm worrying for trying, but it's, uh, it's a waste of time because the ferry companies have got us, you know, under their thumbs. I mean, they can charge what they like and we're still going to pay it, basically. All right, we're going to move on. Hi, who's that? Hello, it's Rita from Pan. <laughs> Hello, Rita. Hello, Rita. You're not going to hang up, are you? No, go on. Can, can I rely on your vote? Pardon? Can I rely on your vote? You must be joking. Wait, 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 is it Pan North or... But what, what, how does it work on Pan? Um, is it Pan North or Pan South? or how many? No, I think it's just all Pan, isn't it? 
Yeah, it is all pan. That's correct. Oh, oh. So, so, oh, okay. Well, learning curve, learning process. I've been quite honest. Where is it that uh, you you don't agree with my policies? Where the others have, are well, coming first through? First of all, there's one question I want to ask you. Yeah. Um, who do you think on pan is going to vote for you after you've slagged us all off every time you've come on, mm -hmm. saying we don't work and all that sort of thing? Um, one question I want to ask you, why are you giving your business up to become a councillor? Most councillors work. That's right, and they don't do a very good job either, do they? So you can afford to pack your business up and then just to rely upon your council wages? Yes, basically. I've made such a success with my business, I can oh, afford yeah. to do that. Uh -huh. Listen, look, I don't see why you're against me, because I'm planning on actually getting Pan cleaned up. I drove through Pan there the... Fine. It's, no, 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 listen, I've listen lovey, look. I've 20 years, I've said this before, there's nothing wrong with Look, that. love, at the end of the day... Oh, love, where do you live? <laughs> well, I don't see where that's got to do with it, and but... you think you're better than everybody else? No, of course, listen... Just because you speak with a little bit of a pot, plum in your mouth, I... doesn't mean to say that you're any better than, um, it's like Pat the Builder. I think he's great. At least he's a worker. All right, Rita, let me ask you, would you vote for him or not? You're joking. All right, let's move on. Hi, mm. who's this? Lisa. Hello, Lisa. You're through Hello, to Henry. Henry. Hi, Lisa. Hello, Alex. Hi, Lisa. Um, I've had run-ins with you before on the, on la, on the air, um, Henry, and I do find you're very patronising, and you do tend to go for the big bang and say something controversial sometimes just to get an impact. So would you now, say then I that... I can't see how you could possibly think you could stand for Panacea when you so obviously despise the people who live there. I don't despise they, they, them at all. What their lifestyle is. A, a few of them are quite nice. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm planning on shaking the whole thing up. On, 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 basically, as, as was said in the past, get it back to basic. Let's get rid. Let's get all this dirt out the way. In the sense of let's let's start talking about the things that are wrong with Pan. Like I went to the uh, the local store there the other day, and apart from the appearance of the people, which isn't doing the tourism industry any good, we've got litter all over the place. It looks disgusting. And I tell you for why. I, I Do you I, see Pan as a challenge? Hang on then? a minute. Hang on a minute. The tourists. What tourists would possibly need to drive through Panacea? And why shouldn't they? And what the way people. So are you saying that you wouldn't you necessarily. People who dress the same as people on Panacea. Not Lisa, don't make it a no go Panacea. area. Don't make it a no go no, area. I'm not being funny. I grew up on Panacea. Good, good. So I did am, he... I have got myself out of Panacea. Ah. I'm, not going to say interesting, point, interesting point interesting point that's not to say that i look down on anybody who lives there fact, why do you want to make up why there. do you want to make something out of the i got out of pan estate exactly line? yeah but why do you want to make something out of it well because no, no i'm not making something out of it well, what you i'm did. saying is henry gives the impression that people on pan estate are not worth anything look love you said they can't improve on their life you so said I got yes, out yes. of Pan Estate. You made a big thing of I got out of Pan Estate. I.e. I got myself out of the gutter. I'm not saying that the I'd Pan Estate. back there. If there was the right property, I'd move back there. You would move there back there in two years when I've tidied the whole place up. Yeah, you would. And it'll be yeah, a nice Henry, place. Henry, it's never going to happen. Is it? Roy, go ahead. Yeah, it won't be a second. Hello, Henry. Hello there, Roy. Yeah, yeah that means that we, I've been listening to you. You're all about people being out of work and whatever. Mm. So that means you're going to be out of work for two years. If yeah, he's not going to be on benefits, is he? No, absolutely not. How do you know that? Because oh, he's just said he sold his business. He told yeah, me off air how much he sold it for. It don't take long to spend a few fairy, do it? Right, listen, look, my friend. At the end of the day, I, I've... You know, I've got enough money there behind me to make this thing happen. Uh, the last thing that I'm going to do is actually leave myself in the lurch. The most embarrassing thing I think I could do is go on benefits. I've never been on benefits. I never want to be on benefits. Now, yes, okay, there's the occasional person out there. Hang on a minute, hang on. Didn't you say that after your fire, right, I want to pick you up on this, that you had a council let for a few months? Yeah, okay, but, um, yeah. Well, that's a benefit of sorts. You must have been on benefits. It's a blip, and if, if the council are listening, I'm more than happy to pay any money back that I feel that oh, I... That's big of you. Yeah, that's all I've got to say. Would you, would you, would you vote for... Get on would you, Roy, would you vote for Henry? No. Oh. Why not? <laughs> eh? Why not? I don't, I don't like the man. That's fair it, okay? All right. Uh, are you a fan of Roy the Whippet Man? Well, yeah, I'm quite surprised I'm a little bit stabbed in the back by that one. Hi, who's that? Sheila from Newport. Hello, Sheila. You're Hiya, through Sheila. to Henry. Right, I'm speaking to Henry. Hello I'm there, Sheila. Right. I wouldn't vote for you to be mayor of Toy Town. Well, I, well, I don't want to be... You are the most bigoted person that has ever talked on this radio station. 